Welcome to our tutorial on posting agreement transactions. Service agreements in ESC are primarily used to generate dispatches and invoices for our customers. This is really a two-step process. The first step is setting up the agreements themselves, which we covered in the previous videos in this series. The next step is actually creating those dispatches and invoices by posting them on a regular basis. So let's take a look at how that's done. We'll start by posting dispatches. To do this, Go to the Agreements pull-down menu and select Post Schedule to Dispatch. This screen will allow us to select which dispatches we want to create. Start off by selecting a date. If an active agreement has a scheduled task before this date, a dispatch will be created for it. This is typically set to the end of the current month or the following month. The remaining fields allow us to further refine the dispatches will be created to just those of a specific agreement type, those for a certain task, or just the ones for a unique customer. We'll leave these blank for now, as it is generally not necessary to fill these out. Then simply uncheck Pause for each agreement and click OK to create the dispatches. If any of the agreements are expired, a prompt will appear asking if the dispatches should be created anyway. We recommend saying no at this point. We can always clean up those agreements and run through this posting process again if needed. Now let's switch over to the dispatch board and see what just happened. As you can see, all the dispatches we scheduled in the previous videos are on the board and are ready to be assigned. These dispatches will contain all the notes, subtasks, associated equipment, and parts we set up when creating the agreement. If we set the invoice section of the agreement to post on dispatch, we will even see the renewal amount appear on the parts tab, so we can be sure to collect while we're there doing the work. It is also possible to combine service calls with agreement dispatches. For example, if this customer calls us today for service, it would be great to combine this scheduled maintenance with the service call and save ourselves a trip. We can do this by right-clicking the agreement in the Agreement Details section and selecting Post Next Scheduled Dispatch. From here, we'll select the task we want to post, and ESC will create the dispatch for us. We can now change the technician, the promise date, and the promise time to show who is doing the work. We can also enter additional service request codes and notes to explain the customer's current service need. This method is perfect because it will carry over the equipment and any parts associated with the agreement. More importantly, it will prevent the agreement dispatch from posting a month from now since we have already taken care of it. So now let's take a look at posting monthly renewal invoices. To do this, go to the Agreements menu and select Post Monthly Invoices. Once there, we can change the form that will be used to create the agreement invoices. This can be handy if we've taken the time to customize a form that lists the benefits of having a service agreement with us. But for now, we'll just use our standard invoice form. We also have the option of posting just a particular type of agreement. In most cases, though, we'll want to post them all at the same time. The last thing we need to do is ensure a hold will be placed on these invoices. This can be a huge time saver as it prevents these invoices from affecting our financial statements or posting to QuickBooks or Peachtree until they are paid and the hold is released. Click Begin Posting to show the first invoice that will be created. At this point, you can either post each invoice individually or just post them all. If we elect to post them all, we'll still have the opportunity to review them before sending them out, so that's what we'll do. The last step in the posting process is either printing or emailing the invoices to the customers. If you set the customer's email tasks to All or Billing on the Customer Entry screen, the invoice will be emailed to them. If the customer does not have an email or is using a different email task code, it will be sent to print instead. We can change how to send this particular invoice by simply checking the other box here, although please note that the customer will have to have a previously entered email address if you select that option. Click Process to print the invoices and display the Send Email screen. To send the emails, simply select a previously saved template or enter the subject and write your message below. Click Send All, and the invoices will be emailed. That takes care of posting invoices, but there are still a couple of things to keep in mind. The first is that we place these invoices on hold, so when the customer sends in their check, we need to recall the customer on the qualification screen, locate the on hold invoices in the Invoices and Quotes section, and double click it. Remove the on hold check mark, and tender and save the invoice normally. The invoice and payment will now go to QuickBooks or Peachtree the next time we post that period. ESC accounting users will see it affect the financial statements immediately. That's all it takes to post your agreement dispatches and invoices. This concludes our tutorial on posting agreement transactions. Thank you very much for watching.